Hi, welcome to Pebbles. In today's class, we are going to see convert the following. In last class, we have seen uh, measurement of uh, measurement of length, measurement of mass, measurement of capacity. All those things we have seen. This is the last uh, unit, measurement of capacity. I have already um, what are the formulas for this uh, uh, this unit, measurement of capacity. That is, uh, I have told you already. One liter is equal to thousand ml, and thousand ml is equal to one liter. So now we are going to convert the following. But the, you, we will use the formula and convert the what following the first question we are going to start let's start the class um, first question a is 0.4 n so 1 liter is equal to 1000 ml okay so this is you know that very well so i've already told you um, 1000 ml is equal to 1 liter and 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliter ml is nothing but milliliter l is equal to liter so in this question they are asking 0 point what 4 liter that is liter is a bigger unit and ml that is milliliter is equal to bigger unit while you convert the bigger unit to smaller unit you should multiply by 1000 that is very important so don't forget this concept so this is a bigger unit milli so liter to milliliter you you must convert so this is a bigger unit and this is a smaller unit b means bigger and s means smaller unit that is what i mentioned on both the letter so 0 0.4 into 1000 so you have to multiply i've told you already so no need to consider the decimal representation that means zero just forget it and you just write as it is 0.4 and triple zero you have to write in because in thousand you have three zeros you just write as it is the three zeros then this point move after three decimal place to the what right that means 400 what milliliter this is the right answer i'll repeat once again 0 0.4 into 1000 because one liter is equal to 1000 ml so we are going to convert 0 0.4 into because bigger unit is smaller unit means you have to multiply by 1000 so 0 0.4 into 1000 so what you're going to do you don't consider the zero you just consider the point then four you have right as it is in the thousand how many zeros are there three zeros you write the three zeros as it is then so this point move three decimal place to the this decimal point move three decimal place to the right direction so the answer is so this point moves after 400 so 400.0 so 400.0 means after the point you should not add zero because even though if you add zero there is no value of the zero so just cancel the zero so the answer is 400 milliliter this is the right answer for the question then you have to 400 milliliter in this blank okay this is the convert the following uh, so don't forget to write the units that means milliliter or liter whatever it may be or um, what gram or milligram or kilogram whatever okay so uh, that means uh, centimeter millimeter meter so these are the units so don't forget to write the units so if you forget to write them in, surely your teacher will reduce your mark okay next one 8.03 liter next question big question we are going to solve right now 8.03 liter is equal to how much milliliter that you want to what convert so 8.03 into that means it is the same because liter is a bigger unit milliliter is a smaller unit so convert liter into milliliter so convert bigger unit to smaller unit that means you have to multiply by thousand the same thing you have to apply in this place so thousand so you write as it is 8.03 triple zero that means uh, what is this what i told you thousand means how many zeros three zeros you have to write after that three zeros so this decimal point move three this decimal point move three decimal place to the right that means the answer is eight zero here the zero here the point will come here the decimal point will come 8030.00 that means 8030 milliliter so after the point you should not consider the zeros because there is no value for the zero so why should you consider the zeros no need to write just quit so after that just left over 
milliliter. This is the right answer for the question. So, next, third sum, 4000 milliliter. What is this? 4000 milliliter. Now you are convert into liter. So milliliter is a what unit? It is a smaller unit. Liter is a bigger unit. Very good. The smaller to bigger means what you are going to do? You have to divide by 1000. So the rule you have to apply. That means 1000 ml is equal to is equal to 1 liter. So 4000 divided by 1000. So what are you going to do? 4000 divided by 1000 so from the right you have to see how many zeros in 1000 3 okay 3 zeros so you must what take over the 1 2 3 you must what um, you must remove the you just cancel all the zeros so what 4 divided by 1 4 that means 4 liter but otherwise you have to that means um, you have to move the decimal point to the left three decimal point move towards to the left okay that means four thousand in thousand how many zeros that means three zeros that's what you have to move three decimal place to the what three one two three three decimal place to the left and cancel the zero after the point so it means you can get four liter again so you can do this method or this method which is your convenience which is your choice you can do that again i'll tell you always uh, if you divide it by 1000, that means what you are going to do, you have to move 3 decimal place because in 1000 how many zeros? 3 zeros. So what you are going to do, you have to move 3 decimal place to the left. Move 3 decimal place to the left. That means 3 zeros cancels. You can get 4 by 1, you can get 4 liter. This is 4 is there, so 4 liter. This is the right answer for the question. You can choose any method, this or that is, which is your convenience, which is easy for you, you adopt this method, okay. Next one, D. The sum is 1840 milliliter. So look at the sum, 1840 milliliter. So convert into liter again. So milliliter is a what unit? It is smaller unit and liter is a bigger unit. So what you are going to do? You have to divide by 1000. So 1840 I'll write big 1840 divided by 1000 so look at this so i told you the zero cancel okay so zero zero cancel so how many zeros in 100 two zeros so what you're going to do you have to move three sorry you have to move uh, if you just if you don't cancel the zeros you just move because in thousand three uh, three zeros so that what you're going to do you have to move three decimal place to the left in such case if you cancel the zeros how many zeros in 100 only two zeros so you have to move two decimal place to the left. So that means one, two, one, two. The point is here. So 1.84 liter. This is the right answer for the question. I'll repeat only this again. So 1840 milliliter. 1840 milliliter convert into liter. So milliliter into liter means you have to what divide because smaller to bigger means you have to divide by 1000. So 1840 divided by 1000 if you consider the three zeros means you have to move three decimal place to the left. In such case if you cancel the zeros only in 100 two zeros. So what you are going to do you have to move two decimal place to the left. So the answer is 1.84 liter. This is the right answer for the question. So you have to fill the answers in this place. I'm sorry, I forgot to write this. So four liter. This is the right answer for the question. 